All right, guys, so in my previous video on the multi screen during the tutorial, you saw that on Yoga Flame, the pictures wouldn't load, it would crash. And then when I did the teaser update, I was able to actually finally add the images, but then the app would still crash afterwards, but I got it all working. So this is the steps and apps that you'll need to install to get it up and running. I've already removed those so I can show you the complete process. And I'm back to my default one home screen with the four APKs. And I actually have uh, Nova Launcher settings uh, shortcut up and I have files up as well. I'll show you how to add additional shortcuts and the new screens. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna transfer over the files. I have vi other videos on different ways on how to transfer the files over. I already have them on this arcade unit. So I'm gonna do control escape. And I'm gonna go to system settings. So I need to go ahead and install the, the APK. So I need to go to files. So actually I can go back and just go up to files. And let's start there. So I have them all on the SD card. Um, the ones there's different ones you're gonna need. So I'm gonna start with the Android ones. Um, scroll down to multiple picture wallpaper. This is the one that actually does the different papers or different backgrounds for each home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Continue, install. I'm not gonna open it yet because I need to install the other APKs which are in a different folder. So I need to go back to my SD card and instead I have these on download. Um, I went ahead and backed up these just in case as far as my testing goes, you only need these two to make it work. Uh, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and install these. It says wallpaper cropper, wallpaper picker, and backup. Um, but like I said in my test right now, you just need these two. So one is the app to actually handle the images. And then the one that actually makes live wallpapers function without this, any of those specialty apps that let you do the backgrounds uh, beyond the regular wallpaper, you need to install this. So with those two installed, I'm good to go. Um, don't need to crop any images. I don't need to do that right now. So I will leave that off for this video. I'm gonna go back. So now if I do control escape, I can get here widgets, or you can do the old method. And I'll show you that in a second. So here I want to go ahead and add multiple picture wallpaper. This way in the future is just easier for me to go ahead and do that. You don't have to add these. You can just go ahead, go back to Control Escape, System Settings. You can go to Apps and then go ahead and launch the application there. All right, so now that I have this on the home screen, I'm gonna go to Files. I need to move the images over to my Pictures folder. So I have them currently on my SanDisk picture. So if I click on this, you can kind of get a preview. I have ones with just text instead. I have those on my website. So I'm gonna be installing all of these. And I'm gonna copy that over. You can do copy or move. Put this on actual yoga flame. and copy it here. And now those eight are done. I also made this additional one, previously mentioned that these two are just split up between X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom 1 APK. However, when I am using this currently right now, uh, it does hang up because it tries to find the appropriate files in the background to run Marvel vs. Capcom and it just, there's just a long wait more than I want. So for now, I'm not using this APK until I can figure out to shorten or make it work. Uh, so I do have this already made for the future, but I'm not using this one. 
for right now. So I have all my photos over to the uh, pictures on this unit. So now I can go to, I'm gonna go ahead and give it permissions. It does rotate sideways. Uh, I wanna say someone mentioned there's another app to install to fix it, but just for this quick purpose, I don't want to do that. We're gonna go ahead and do gallery just this once. And then give gallery permission. So here are my pictures. You can go here. And the first one I'm gonna do is Yoga Flame. So I'm gonna do the, you can do them in any order you want. You can also change the order right here. So go ahead and select the second image. Uh, this one I will do big blue. So here's my big blue image. I need to add a few more. And I clicked too fast and it went in. I'm gonna go back. So I'm just right clicking to go back, left click to proceed forward. So this one, I will do Marvel vs. Cat Claw. This one, I will do X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Next one, I will do Retro Arch. And the last one I will do as settings. I also have another image for a future video. Uh, I will, I already asked some questions on how to install Retro Arch and the ROMs and different stuff. I will do that in an upcoming video and then it will, will proceed to another video with that other wallpaper that you saw for a second. So now that I have these all done, I need to scroll down and I need to apply it here. And the previous teaser, it would crash at this point, but with live wallpaper app selected, it actually allows me to set this up now. So we want it on the home screen. And there you go. So now we can just exit this app. So I'm just doing right click to do back. All right, so now that the multiple wallpaper is set up, I actually have to make the additional screens. So I'm gonna click and hold. I'm gonna click this first home screen area. It is currently selected as the default. I'm gonna select and drag it over. Go ahead and add that. Click and hold again. So I can click and hold and add another one. So I believe I did six, so I need to do six home screens. And if you get uh, if you lose track, you can just always grab and slide, grab the current one. You can also, if you click and hold it longer, you can move it around. If you put the apps on the wrong one, click and hold it. You can make that one default or remove. You can also click this icon up here to make it default. So if you make too many, so you just want to click and grab it fast to move it over. So this first screen is Yoga Flame. So that is the default green app. So I'll grab this one, move it here. This yellow is X-Men, so I'll click and drag. And currently, since I have more wallpapers than home screens, it's not grabbing them right. So let me click and hold. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, and I believe I need one more, six. All right, so now I can go back and grab this. This is X-Men. So I'm gonna add one screen, click and hold. I need to grab this screen and bring it over to where I need it, which is right here. 
Now I can click on this one and I need to bring this yellow one over. All right, so now if I go back, this is marble. Position these all correctly. All right, so Yoga Flame, um, Big Blue, Marvel, X-Men. I need one here, so I'm gonna click and hold. I'm gonna do widgets. You can grab the name or this bar here. It's a little bit tricky, so the other way is Control Escape, widgets, and it just pops it up. Click and hold, and I'm gonna put it right here. And this, it will be dig. And dig is the front end for retro arch to make it a little bit easier to navigate. So now if I go back, it didn't save, so I gotta do it again. Widgets, like I said, you can grab that one too. Click hold, drop it down right here. Go down to dig. And I will do another video showing you how to install RetroArch and dig and how to get it set up. All right, that time it worked. So I need to grab this files and move it over to the settings. So I have files, Nova, multiple wallpaper, click and hold, grab the widget. Once again, the other method is control escape widgets. And if there's anything else I need to add that I want easy access to for uh, settings. And I have this set up for the music. So if I ever want to change music or do anything, I can go back to it really easily. All right, control escape. Widgets, click and hold. I might be selecting the wrong activity. Macro Droid. All right, so there it goes. Um, let me double check if there's anything else I need to do or I want to add. So I'll set macro droid and go backwards. If you go to settings a lot to make changes or anything like that, you may want to add uh, there's the two different ones. You may want to pick one and add that. I believe that's all I want for right now. So I'm going to close out and cancel. So now I need to go back and make these invisible. Edit. Click on that. Do gallery. Click on gallery. You can do gallery or files. Uh, picture. This is my blank pink. Uh, PNG, done. All right, so then I'm gonna click reshape. And I'm actually renamed this to yoga. I must have got set back. And I can't spell. Done. So Yoga Flame will launch these titles. Do the same thing. Click and hold. Edit. on the icon, gallery apps, gallery.
Gun. Take off reshape. Done. So I'm gonna do the same thing for these two. And then this one as well. Uh, and then this is the consoles that I have on this unit. And then I have a different setup for the Simpsons. And then these are just quick access. So I figured out the Simpsons and the Yoga Flame are the same PCB. I'm pretty sure the other units are the same as well. This one is just missing some background apps that you need to install to make the multiple home screen wallpapers active or functioning. So I hope this helps. Hope you get yours set up the way you want. If you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer them best as I can. If there's any suggestions or wallpapers you would like, if I have time, I'm happy to help. Contact me on the website or leave a comment here later.